Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. This is our time where we study the Word of God through the International Sunday School lesson on this Sunday, March the 19th, and we're so excited that you have joined us today. Take a few minutes, get your study materials, get your Bible, your notepad, and remember you can go to our website, ambcchicago.org, to get the outline of today's lesson. As always, we have faithful and incredibly equipped teachers. Our very own Deacon Jesse Burns and Sister Regina Kent are going to lead us through the lesson. And so I need you to go ahead, share this broadcast, invite someone to study the Word of God with you, and let's get ready to go into Sunday school right now. Good morning, Antioch family and friends, and welcome to our Sunday school lesson for Sunday, March the 19th, 2023. We're just so excited that you have joined us today. I am Regina Kent, and my co-teacher today is Deacon Jesse Burns. Good morning. How are you, Deacon Burns? Great, great. All right, you ready? I am ready. All right. Would you lead us in prayer, yes. Deacon? Yes. Oh, Lord, my Lord, how excellent is the name in all the earth, Lord. We thank you for another Sunday. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for an awesome Sunday school lesson. We ask blessing on our students. We ask blessing on our church, our pastor. Be with us as we go through this class. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Burns. <clears throat> Again, we're excited that you have joined us. Our lesson today is the title is Different But The Same. Our unifying topic says Jesus talks with Samaritan woman. And our scripture is coming from John 4, 7 through 15, 28 through 30, and 39 through 41. And our background scriptures are coming from John 4, 1 through 42. Again, we're excited about our lesson today. It's a familiar lesson, but still some good nuggets that we can be able to draw from it. Our key verse says, And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for saying of the woman which testified, He told me all that ever I did. And that came from John 4, 39. Our unifying principle says people create barriers that can hinder relationships. What can be done to eliminate these barriers? Jesus was able to break, the, the, break down the barriers and have a relationship with the Samaritan woman, offering her living water that to give her eternal life. Our lesson aim says believers should be ready to receive a spiritual encounter with Christ that will transform them from a natural focus to an eternal relationship with God. And the life aim says Christians should embrace the reality that physical needs of the body and social division of the world are not as important as the spiritual needs of the soul. When one accepts Christ as Lord and Savior, all other needs of life are automatically satisfied. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I got excited on that Amen. one there. And our outline of the lesson just says, uh, conversing at Jacob's well, and that's coming from John 4, 7 through 15. And outline two says, conversing with the men, and that's coming from John 4, 28 through 30. And the last outline is conversing with the city, and that's coming from John 4, 39 through 41. So we're excited again about the lesson. It's a familiar lesson, but I know we're going to get some good things out of it. Amen. And we're going to start with you, Deacon Burns. Amen. Can you start us yes, off? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What a great lesson. Today, we're going to see how Jesus break these barriers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in life, we have a lot of barriers. But let us look at this lesson re real quick. First of all, what we see is Jesus' plan to go through Samaritan to reach his destination of Galilee. Mm -hmm. Now, as Jesus was planning, he said, I must go to Samaritan. Mm -hmm. And I thought about why would he go to Samaritan? Mm -hmm. And then he, he, the Jews had a route that they 
went mm -hmm. because they did not go through to Samaritan. Uh -huh. what, but so they they're bypassed. They bypassed the Samaritan. Okay. Uh -huh. Now okay. watch Jesus. The normal route of Jews was to go around Samaritan to avoid interaction with them. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they hated Samaritan. Mm. And Ooh, and Sister strong. Kent, we just celebrate Black History. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In February. Yes. And so we saw all the great things that Black peoples did or yes. Afro American did. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, mm -hmm. we still are hated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 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 that still happened. Then, yeah. over 2,000 years, years ago. ago. And, and it's it, still happening and today. And it's still happening today. Watch this. Mm -hmm. With the, uh, Christ ignored this pre president and went through the region where he met a woman mm -hmm. at the well in the city of Sigmund. Mm -hmm. Now, watch that. In the day of Jesus, the world was mm -hmm. and still is divided. Divided. Isn't that something? <laughs> yes, yeah. ma'am. But we, we thank God for Jesus coming into the world, we, though. Right. All right. And, Giving us a different perspective. Different okay. perspective. Mm -hmm. But what yes. I thought about, gee, when God has something for you, yes. he breaks all the barriers. Yes. Nature yes. changes. Yes, yes, yes. He yes. broke the barrier mm -hmm. and went directly to mm -hmm. Samaritan because he had a job to mm -hmm. do. All right. And ju God would come in your life, I don't care where <laughs> you are, what stage you are in, mm -hmm. he will come to you just as he came to this Samaritan woman. Mm -hmm. Now, the Jews had no dealing with the Samaritan. Mm -hmm. okay. They was considered a mixed breed of people mm -hmm. who were viewed as beneath the Jewish culture. Mm -hmm. They okay. were viewed as beneath the culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like the blacks are today. Right. Yeah, how the, some of the whites right. think of them blacks. Right. Okay. There's okay. certain neighborhood yeah. they yeah. can't go into. Mm -hmm. There's yes. certain yeah. neighborhood that the Jews didn't go yes. because right. of their education mm -hmm. or because of their status in life. Mm -hmm. Now, as we as we get to verse 6, just mm -hmm. before my lesson began, mm -hmm. at verse 6 we find here, in the day of Jesus, the word was and still is very divided. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. verse 6 says, now Jacob's well was there. Mm -hmm. Jesus, therefore, being weary with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus made the trip <coughs> to Samaritan. Mm -hmm. When he got there, he was tired, mm -hmm. so he mm -hmm. sat there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Sister Ken, why was it called Jacob's well? Mm -hmm. That was that was I, I did a little research, uh -huh. and right. it was called Jacob's well. Because the people believed mm -hmm. that Jacob dug the well over 1,700 years ago. Wow. And so because of that, they called it Jacob's, Jacob's well. well. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we get into our lesson in verse 7. says, there came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to her, give me to drink. Mm. Now... That was odd to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The woman came to the well. Mm -hmm. She asked Jesus to get, Jesus yeah. asked her to get me a drink. Mm -hmm. Now think about it. Mm -hmm. Jesus had no containers. Uh -huh. Yeah. He had nothing to get the water with. He just mm -hmm. sitting there mm -hmm. resting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and I'm sure the woman would thought it was odd on many reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First of all, Christ broke the tradition of the time and spoke to the woman. Mm -hmm. He now, normally, wouldn't normally talk to a woman. No! All right. okay. he, broke okay. he broke that tradition. All right. And then she yeah. being a Samaritan then, too? To, yeah, oh yeah. Well, he break traditions, he you break, know that. Yeah. <laughs> he known for that, right. hallelujah. Samaritan don't talk to mm -hmm. a man. Uh-huh, yeah. And, and watch this, Jews and Samaritan hated each other. Mm -hmm. They didn't dislike, they hated, hated. each yes. other. I mean, severe. Huh? So right. they usually had a very little conversation. Watch this, uh -huh. Jesus had a more important object beside adhering to prejudice. Mm -hmm. He had something different. Yeah. He mm -hmm. wasn't concerned about their prejudice, mm -hmm. concerned about their dislike. Mm -hmm. He had a job to mm -hmm. do. He yeah. was on mm -hmm. a mission. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. <laughs> now, now watch this. He asked her for a drink of water, mm -hmm. which even surprised the woman. Mm. Okay. Now Jesus, actually, yeah. he surprised, surprised her. her. Yeah. She's looking around. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh -huh. Well, she know normally 
they they don't talk to women right. anyway. Right. And the mere fact of her uh, being addressed by a Jewish person to a Samaritan, right. that yeah, I'm sure and that, that yeah, at that, that time, time, at that time, at that time. And by the me, way, it was at noon time. It was at noon time, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But okay. see, the the Samaritan mm -hmm. would come when nobody's yes, around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was their hour that, mm -hmm. of approaching mm -hmm. the well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, during that time, men and women typically did not speak in public. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there was no right. communication okay. in public right. mm -hmm. unless they was married, mm -hmm. unless they was a cousin. Okay. They would they would talk a little, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And and they had no because now Jesus and the woman, they had no knowledge of each other. Mm -hmm. The woman was a Samaritan, hated mm -hmm. by Jews. Mm -hmm. She was unclean. Mm -hmm. She could not be touched. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't mm -hmm. even touch you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. And 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 verse eight and we go to verse 8, now watch this. Mm -hmm. In verse 8, he said, now the disciples, they was going, they was going to get some food. Mm -hmm. All right. They went to the city to get oh, some okay. food. So, 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 so Jesus was left there by himself with the right, Samaritan woman. Right. Okay. He said to right. arrest her and this woman come along. Okay. And then he asked her to get him a drink of <laughs> <Okay>. water. <laughs> now, now, in verse 9, you know, as they, as there was a, this robust conversation, uh -huh. All there right. was a robust conversation. All right. okay. And this verse nine, mm -hmm. you notice that there was no interaction of touching, mm -hmm. okay. because they was unclean. Okay. Jesus did not touch, but uh -huh. he did communicate with. Mm -hmm. Verse okay. nine said, then said the woman of Samaritan to him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, mm -hmm. ask drink of me, mm -hmm. which am a woman of Samaria? Mm -hmm. For the Jews have no dealing with the Samaritan. Mm -hmm. Okay. All now right. she's she they're communicating. Mm -hmm. yes. Now Jesus is going someplace mm -hmm. and we we need to learn how Jesus uh, is interacting with this lady. Mm -hmm. All right. And and uh 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 verse ten says now Jesus is going to answer her mm -hmm. in verse yeah. 10. All right. Jesus answered and said to her, mm. If thou knew the gift of God <laughs> mm -hmm. and who it is that said mm -hmm. to thee, mm -hmm. give me to drink, mm -hmm. thou would have asked of him mm -hmm. and he would have given thee living water. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus said, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. We are communicating, but mm -hmm. you really don't know, know who, who I, I am. am. Mm -hmm. And she did. And she yeah, really did. She had no idea. She had mm -hmm. no uh, idea who she was talking Jim, with. If she was talking mm -hmm. to her. Mm -hmm. but, but Jesus kept her talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it tells me, Sister Kent, mm -hmm. when we're going out into the world talking to people, mm -hmm. we need to keep them talking, mm -hmm. keep, yeah. find mm -hmm. out their, their physical mm -hmm. need. Mm -hmm. right. And then their physical need, mm -hmm. we can transition to mm -hmm. their spiritual, spiritual need. need. Yeah. Now watch, mm -hmm. how, watch mm -hmm. how Jesus did this. Mm -hmm. The way that Christ witnessed to her is an excellent example of how to reach out to unsaved people. Mm -hmm. okay. Because okay. he, he kept talking to mm -hmm. her. He asked her a question. Mm -hmm. Give mm -hmm. me that drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. He's right. finding out what her physical you need is. Okay. Yeah. He began with her view of a need which was water. Mm -hmm. Her need was water. Mm -hmm. She came to the well to, to get, get water. water. Mm -hmm. Now he found. Now he, he got he, he, some information. Now uh -huh. her need, He knew it, but uh -huh. he talked about it. He wanted her to say what her, her need, need was, was. Okay. and her need was water. Mm -hmm. Now right. and 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 verse eleven. Uh, now watch this, before mm -hmm. you get to verse 11, her knee was watered. Now uh -huh. you're going to see a transformation. Okay. Her transformation to his, to his view of the woman's real knee. Uh -huh. Her real knee, knee was what? Was salvation. salvation. That's right. So she thought she would just come into the well for water. For water. However, God already had foreseen that she needed something she else. Needs something she needed something else. So he, that's why there must, uh, must need to go through Samaria in order to do this particular situation. Right. All right. So you know. now we're learning. Now we learn. Mm -hmm. Now, and when we are witness, mm -hmm. let's find out their real need, their okay. physical need. Mm -hmm. Right. And then yeah. once we find out their, their physical, physical need, need, he transitioned mm -hmm. his view of the woman. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I know the woman. Mm -hmm. She, her need, her real need is salvation. Mm -hmm. And right. then as we witness to others, mm -hmm. the ability to identify a point of connection mm -hmm. is an effective way of sharing 
the salvation is in Christ. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All how right. we connect how with How we connect other, with someone. You know. Yeah. Okay. And so we saw how Jesus connect with her. Yeah. He found out mm -hmm. her physical need. Mm -hmm. Then he transitioned to her spiritual, spiritual need. need. Mm -hmm. And verse 11, mm -hmm. what he talks about, mm -hmm. the woman says to him, Sir, mm -hmm. thou has nothing to draw with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she so she got nothing to it. draw with. Her. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and the well is deep mm -hmm. from which then has thou that living water. Mm -hmm. now, you talk yeah, about living you're gonna water. You're going to give me living water, water. but you ain't got nothing to draw. Uh, to draw, draw, draw okay, so right. how are you going to give it to right. me? Okay. All now, right. the woman still not knowing that she's speaking with the Son of God. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. replied that the water could not be drawn from the well mm -hmm. without mean of drawing it. Mm -hmm. Because we noticed that Jesus didn't have no utensil. Mm -hmm. right. So the woman knows that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so yeah. so the woman now, she, she got her thinking. Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. is this? Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and 12 says, mm -hmm. and as we go and we see, how they communicate, mm -hmm. how, how Jesus communicates. Mm -hmm. First, he asks her for water. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. and, and then when and the woman mm -hmm. observed that really, mm -hmm. you don't have nothing to draw, draw water with. with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. And okay. then Jesus saying that, if you know who was asking you, you uh -huh. would be you saying get, all yeah. that. Uh -huh. And verse 12 <laughs> say, are thou graded? Now she's talking about, she's talking something else now. Mm -hmm. She kind of, Question Jesus. She said, Jesus, mm -hmm. are thou greater than our father Jacob, mm -hmm. which give us the well mm -hmm. and drank thereof himself mm -hmm. and his children mm -hmm. and his cattle? Mm -hmm. Now that's a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A set up question. Right. Okay. Now, now right. then this is a back and forward conversation mm -hmm. between Jesus and the Samaritan mm -hmm. woman. Yeah. Shows her to be interested in his character. Mm, yeah. Now, uh -huh. Jesus got her attention. Attention, that's right. Yeah. See, you cannot deal with anyone. Mm -hmm. You cannot help anyone unless you have, have their, their attention. attention. Okay. Jesus okay. realized mm -hmm. this back and forth conversation uh -huh. got her attention. Mm -hmm. And in verse mm -hmm. 13, mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said unto her, mm -hmm. Whosoever drinketh of mm -hmm. this water should thirst again. Mm -hmm. Now that's mm -hmm. now yeah. Jesus talks about living water, mm -hmm. but he's now he's talking about if you drink of this well mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. you're gonna mm -hmm. want some more water. Mm -hmm. You're gonna mm -hmm. thirst again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and 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 in verse 14 and 14, but Whosoever drink of the water that I should give him mm -hmm. should never thirst. Now, Jesus mm -hmm. is telling us that now, mm -hmm. if you drink of the well water, you're mm -hmm. going to thirst again. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the water I they give, give you, yeah. you don't have yeah, to worry no about more. it. Uh -huh. You're right. not going to thirst no more. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the water I should give you should be in him a well of water mm -hmm. springing up to everlasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's shouting mm -hmm. you. Because yeah, when is. God touch you, mm -hmm. when God gives you something, mm -hmm. once he put his spirit, in you, mm -hmm. it swells up like water. Uh -huh. You just all right. get all over. Uh -huh. You don't know how yeah. to act. All right. all and so right. it's well Bill. of water. water. Yeah. And so what we have learned here, mm -hmm. that first of all, as Jesus witnessed to this woman, mm -hmm. first he asked her a question. Mm -hmm. yeah. He mm -hmm. asked her to give him some water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the woman thought this was odd. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And he started talking to him. She hmm. thought that mm -hmm. was odd because mm -hmm. he's a Jew. Yeah. At that time, Jews and Samaritans didn't talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus got her talking mm -hmm. yeah. about water. Mm -hmm. Jesus realized that she needed salvation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then Jesus tell her, I will give you water. water. You don't have to thirst uh -huh. anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Living water. A living Hallelujah. water. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Okay, take it over, Sister Ken. <laughs> well, you you really, you know, what you describe, first of all, as we looking at this whole scenario, that Jesus made the comment that he must go through Samaria. Yes. That means that he already knew that he had a plan for something. Right. And he knew the plan was for this woman. For, right. Now, with the woman coming to Jesus and coming to the well and then Jesus talking with her, she knew Something was special about Jesus. Right. Now, don't we know that every day? Yes. That there is something special about right. Jesus? Our communication with him let us know that there's something special right. when we feeling the Holy Spirit right. inside of us. And, you, and, and so she can't. She had to know mm -hmm. because in that ear, mm -hmm. women did not talk to men. Men, that's right. And mm -hmm. especially a Jew. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. That was yeah. forbidden. Yeah. And so yeah. she 
Jesus yes, got her comfort, uh -huh. and yeah. they would communicate that back mm -hmm. and forth. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now she mm -hmm. talking about the well of water, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. living water, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I take it over yeah. from there. And see, what he was trying to describe to her was a metaphor that she didn't know nothing she about. She didn't know nothing and about. And see, as you were describing in terms of, he said in terms of the living water that I'm going to give you, you mm -hmm. won't thirst again. You won't thirst And then again. she was trying to, well, I'm saying, what do you mean I, you won't thirst, I will never mm -hmm. thirst again? So Jesus had to really break that thing down to let her know that he was not talking about the physical water, Amen. but he was talking about a spiritual, spiritual water. water. And when we think about in terms of our salvation, it's not physical, Deacon Burns. When we say we're saved, it's not because we're saved from just being hurt, but we're saved from sin in a spiritual way. Right, right. And so we have to make sure that we explain that to, to people right. also, that right. salvation is not something physical that you can right. touch, right. but it's a spirit that's right. inside of you and what you believe in terms of Jesus Christ. And, but watch this. Go ahead. Before he could give her this living water, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's, there got to be a yeah, change. There got to be a change. I know you're going to yeah, tell yeah, us about that's it. That's what I'm going to get. Now, the part of in terms of even with the spiritual water. He was just letting her know about salvation, which right. is that spiritual water. Right. But when we think about in terms of even the spiritual water that, that satisfies the soul, it's the satisfaction that we know that whatever situation we're in, that Jesus is going to take care of. Right. And once we receive salvation, we know that God is going to take care of everything. Mm -hmm. And Jesus really wanted to let her know that that living water is like something that you just said that a spiritual up in you. It's right. something that will fulfill you. It's right. something that will give you strength in the midst of death in the family. Right. It's something that will give you strength in the midst of whatever situation it might be. Right. But we got to remember that there is a foundation that we got to have. Mm. And the foundation is Jesus. Jesus. So now that she's learned who really Jesus is, is a special man, right. then she can start accepting a little bit of this. Right. And verse 15, it just says, and the woman said to him, sir, give me this water so that I will never thirst or have to keep coming here to draw water. water. Now the woman confess the fact that she wanted that 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 water right. she wanted that water that she would never have the thirst but see she was mistaken she was still thinking about the physical, physical water physical. that in terms that oh okay you gonna give me some water that I'll never have to come back here to the well and I'll never get thirst again but she wasn't realizing that she was talking to Jesus, Jesus right. and Jesus was not talking about that physical water, water. but he was talking about that living, living water. water and that living water again is what we say is in terms that really is salvation. Right. The fact that he was trying to offer her salvation. Correct. If you be, if you're thirsting after something, if I give you the living water that you can bathe it, feel inside of it, you'll never thirst you again. You'll never, you'll never have the desire to go back to your old ways. Right. So as we look at our lesson, even though our lesson kind of skips around a, a little bit, it was just saying again that in terms of the living uh, water that he was going to give. But in verses 4, uh, 16 through 27, it's not part of our lesson, but it really describes that Jesus was just letting her know that in terms of, I know your story. Right. So in for, uh, 16 through 27 and 16 through 19, Jesus told the woman, now I'm telling you something, but I want you to now go call your husband right. that I can be able to let your right. husband know what's, what's going right. on. So the woman herself answered and says, I have no husband. And Jesus replied immediately, yes, I know. I know. Because the, the man you with right now is not your husband. husband. You've right. been married five times. Right. Now, that's what got her attention, right. though. That right. got her attention that Jesus knew all about her story. Right. He knew that she didn't had five husbands. And he knew that in turn that the one that she was with was not a husband. Right. And you know what? She knew then that Jesus already knew her lifestyle. Oh, right. He knew that what what she was participating in was not the right thing to do. Right. So she herself really realized and perceived and said to him, I perceive that you are a prophet right. and to that, that someone has uh, sent you this greater. Right. And when we look at in terms of in this lesson, when it starts with verse 27, it just says, uh, the, the, before we got to 27, it just says in terms of the woman had perceived something 
from Jesus. Right. And the woman was ready for whatever Jesus was getting ready to tell her. Right. But don't you know there's always a little interruption? Yeah. Verse 27 says, then the disciples came back. Right. Now they came back after their trip to the, to the market to buy food and everything. Guess what? They were shocked that, the, that Jesus was talking to the to, woman to also. Right. And they didn't know what the conversation was, right. but they were shocked that it was happening. Right. So won't, that's, isn't that what happened? That's somebody, right. you, you're trying to get somebody to say, somebody comes up behind you and interrupt the conversation, interrupt, you right. know, and not figuring out, now why is Jesse Burns talking to this woman, woman right. you know? Now, you know, she's a single woman, he's right. a single man, and you know, he shouldn't be talking to her, right. but they don't know your motive. They don't know, Your right. motive is what, to get her saved, saved, to get her to know who Jesus really is. Yeah. And that's what Jesus was trying to do. Right. Disciples didn't really know what was, what going, was going on, on, but at the same time, he was trying to get their right. attention. You know, and, Sister Kent, go ahead. it reminds me that as we look at the lesson, which is a familiar lesson, mm -hmm. that all that's happening, first of all, Jesus uh, uh, said, I must go to Samaria mm -hmm. yeah. because he had a job. He wanted to see this woman mm -hmm. and he wanted to break barrel to let people know now that, 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 that this is, I'm, uh -huh. I'm not worried about color. Mm -hmm. I'm, not I'm not worried about mm -hmm. what you're and talking what you're about. Thinking. Yeah. Now he, we mm -hmm. see a promise mm -hmm. and then we see problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now we're going to see deliverance mm -hmm. out of all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, as this woman, this living water, before she can get this living water, mm -hmm. she has to be clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is telling her about mm -hmm. uh, 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 her husband mm -hmm. and all oh, that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. how you he bring her. You know that there needs to be a change in her life. A, that's there's, it. There's a change. Yeah. yeah. In verse 28, it did say, then the woman, after Jesus then told her uh, about the husbands, and he then told her about her lifestyle. Think mm -hmm. about it now. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus then broke this thing down to her, let her know that, you know, that you done had five husbands, right. and, the, uh, and the woman, and the man that you with right now is not your husband. Right. And then he told her some more, because they went on with conversation. So what, we don't know what that conversation was. Right. Maybe he broke it down and said, you were born so-and-so, so-and-so place, and all these things happened to you as a child yeah. and then whatever way you became a wayward woman right. then but God wouldn't want you to be that yeah, way right. but let me tell you when God speaks to you just like he spoke to this Samaritan woman it'll change your life <laughs> when God speak to you and tell you what what salvation really is all about right. your mind is changed Everything. your heart is changed yes. so that's where the change yeah. come in because in verse 28 it says then the woman left her water jar and went back into the city and said to the people in verse 29, it just said, come, come and see a man right. who told me everything I have ever done. Right. So there were more conversation than the, just telling right. her about the, the, right. the husband. Now, now watch yeah. this again. Uh -huh. The woman came there for water. Yeah. For, mm -hmm. She was thirsty. Yeah. 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 But when Jesus got through with her. <laughs> she, she, she got excited she got and then went back and told everybody what this man was and doing. Left to, and left a pot. <laughs> she, did, she left what she came there initially for. But, right. but she got what God had for. had for. And even with that, you know, she, when she told the people in terms of this she even kind of questioned it a little bit. Is this really the Messiah? Messiah right. So he done told me everything. And I've heard a little bit about this Messiah, right. this Jesus or somebody that's right. coming can then work miracles right. and did all these things. So is this the man? But her whole thing is she already then felt that in terms that, right. yes, it is a special man. man. Remember right. I said right. that up front? Right. It right. is somebody special. That, that's so right. now he done laid the groundwork. He done had conversation with me and told me all about. It. So this has to be the Messiah. Right. So she herself got, it, got excited. Mm -hmm. So think about what God has did with us. He got us excited because God sent his only son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have right. everlasting, everlasting life. life. So once we believe in Jesus, we got everlasting, everlasting life. life. And this woman recognized the fact that, yes, this is a Messiah. This is, this the, is the one that can be able to give me that living water right. and that everlasting life. Amen. So as we look at our lesson and as we finish up thinking about in terms of what Jesus did, see, Jesus will address your lifestyle.
He'll come to you, thank you, Mary. Yes. He'll let you know what you're doing wrong. And that little Holy Spirit that's inside of you, it'll, it'll perk your spirit. Right. It'll do some something. And then that's when you get, get to know in terms of why not go tell your story. So, right. Just like this woman went to tell her story to the people, that's what Jesus have drawn us to right. do. And this, when we, go ahead. Sister Kent, Jesus can come in our lives in so many unusual ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He can come when we are sick. Mm -hmm, he yeah. can come when we have financial mm -hmm, issues. Mm -hmm. He can come when we are depressed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And he will come at some unusual time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we will be like that woman. Mm -hmm, we will mm -hmm. forget about sickness. Mm -hmm, we will forget about mm -hmm, finance. Mm -hmm. And we will go tell mm -hmm. men and women, mm -hmm. tell our friends about mm -hmm. his goodness mm -hmm. and his mercy. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's, that, that, that's, that was my notes. Oh, that my this God. woman left her water pots right. to go tell the story. Right. Won't we leave our lifestyle right. to go tell the story? Right. Won't we change our, yes. our, our lifestyle, Deacon Birth? I don't care what we were into before, right. but we can be able to change our lifestyle. So God is wanting us to do the same thing. All we got to do is go tell our tell story. story. Matter of fact, you don't have to make up a story. Right. You can just give them your own, your story right. in terms of how you were a sinner right. and what God had you out there doing. You yeah. might have been out there boogalooing yeah. all night long, right. but God changed your, your lifestyle. lifestyle. He changed your lifestyle so that you can be able to go tell somebody else what good, yeah. what he has done for you. But, and, but, but Sister ahead. Kent, mm -hmm. this lady went into the city. That's right. Can mm -hmm. you imagine mm -hmm. the people in the city, mm -hmm. she is going in yelling, mm -hmm. Come see, see a, a man. man. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. People's all see, on the street. That's it. She wasn't she, shamed she, that's because it. he had given her that living water. water. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He had gave her that salvation. salvation. She had found salvation, right. and that means there was no shame. There's no and shame. And that's it. He said, "Don't be ashamed of my right. word." Right. So when we look at it in terms of our lesson, our lesson, even in verse thirty-one through thirty-eight, which is not part of our lesson, mm -hmm. Israel still was setting up another scenario. Mm -hmm. See, the disciples themselves didn't know exactly exactly what had happened. No. But God has given this woman salvation, salvation. and she felt what it is. Right. So she was able to go. The disciples weren't out there going no. to, into the city <laughs> telling everybody, come see a man. Now they already knew what Jesus could, could do, do right? right? But were they out there telling no. people? They then came back. They were trying to urge, uh, they were so busy trying to urge eat. Jesus to eat. eat. They right. weren't even worried about it in terms of getting anybody saved. saved. And right. they still didn't know why he had to go through Good. Samaria. Right. However, God knew mm. that Jesus was going through Jesus Samaria knew. to get somebody right, saved. Right. And so that's why we look at our lesson but today. One Go more ahead. time. Now, he was going to get somebody saved. Mm. That was mm -hmm. the main objective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he also broke barrier, barriers. Mm -hmm. Barriers down, yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. yeah. the, the Jews in the Samaria, the mm -hmm. Jews went around. Mm -hmm. So he showed, you don't have to mm -hmm. go around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can okay. save the Samaritan uh -huh. just like I can mm -hmm. save you. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. Now, that just goes a little bit more. Just like Jesus knew that there was no difference in people, whether it was a Jew, the Gentiles, or whoever well, it might right. be, the Samaritan, right. no difference. No difference. They're the same. That's part of our lesson, saying the same, right. different but the same. Different but the same. Blacks, whites, Hispanics, Asian, right. all of us the same, right? The same. Now, Man will put you down, right. but God creates us all equal. Right. And this is part of this is what the lesson is really telling us right. in terms that we're all the same. And he wanted us to know that in terms just like the Samaritan woman was changed, Change. even though she was different, even her, her whole her whole life was different, right. but you can, he can change anybody. A That's what it is. It don't matter what your sin is. God is letting us know that we can be changed. Amen. So when we look at our, our lesson, in Sarah, even in verse, our last part of our lesson in verse 39, it just says, many Samaritans from that city believed in Jesus because of the woman's <laughs> testimony. <laughs> So that's what we're saying. Right. The, she went and told her testimony. Right. And all you got to do is just tell your testimony. Tell testimony. We don't have to look at it in terms of what nobody else. But the woman immediately, by the way, mm. she shared the testimony, testimony. from her experience. Yeah. She didn't wait no two or three days. Now, I got to think about this. That no. Jesus then <laughs> told me all about myself. No. Let me wait for a week and I'll go tell them. Right. She did it immediately. At that, and moment. Don't, at that moment. Don't you know that's what God wants to say? Once right. we get saved, just go tell your story. Tell now, you're not going to quote the whole Bible in terms right. of somebody, right. but once you get saved, right. you do it. Right. I just want to finish this last part of our lesson in <laughs> verse 40 and 41. It just says, so when the Samaritan 
came to him. So all the Samaritans mm. came to him at that day. They asked him to stay with them another two days. Right. So look at this. Now, the woman that went and told her story, right. the uh, other Samaritans believed her. So they went to Jesus and they heard what Jesus had to say and they got excited, excited. too. They wow. got excited. And guess what? what? They just not got excited. They wanted some more. some more. So they wanted to hear a little bit more of Jesus' story. Right. And Jesus stayed there another two, two days. days. Now, isn't that what we do? That's when we come to, uh, to church, it's sometimes just that one little song is not enough for us. No. We need to get a little bit more mm. and a little bit more. Mm. And Jesus uses those opportunities to change our lives. Right. He uses that so we can be able, just like the Samaritan woman was changed, we can change. Amen. Just like the Samaritan woman had a, had a, a testimony, we, we have a testimony. Because God has given us the living water inside of us. We know the salvation. Yeah, I know you, you, so you I'm going to say, I know. Come you know on. Now here's one woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you say one woman? One woman. Went to the city mm -hmm. and because of her testimony mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and because she mm -hmm. preached and teach mm -hmm, and telling mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. to come see a man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, then because of her testimony, mm -hmm. other Samaritans mm -hmm, were saved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now yeah. what about us mm -hmm, in 2023? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a Who, lot of us. There's a lot of us go to church. Right. Mm -hmm. Do we tell yeah. people about yeah. God? Mm -hmm. Do yeah. we come out and tell our story mm -hmm. when we go into a restaurant, mm -hmm. when into, we go into to, the street, mm -hmm. when we go into Walgreens, yeah. different mm -hmm. stores? Yeah. Do we yeah. do that? Mm -hmm. You can imagine mm -hmm. if what one they, woman yeah. do, if mm -hmm. two or three yeah. of us did the, the impact same. that we'll have over oh, the whole wow. world. If, if all of us went out and told our story, story, you know, but just tell your story. I don't want you to tell my right, story, Deacon right, Byrne. You right. just tell your story, right. and your story would have a ripple effect on other people. Right, right. I tell my story, my story is going to have a right. ripple effect on right. other people. And look at the millions of lives that we can get saved. Say, so we're just thanking God for this lesson that we're looking at a one woman, Samaritan woman, to get everybody right. saved. But look at ourselves or what we can do. Okay, right. what you... And, and one of the, my last statement is, mm -hmm. if we started in our family, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get everybody in our family mm -hmm. saved, mm -hmm. tell them about the goodness mm -hmm. of God, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then it would be a ripple effect because mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. going to tell, tell somebody. Else. Whenever mm -hmm. God come into your life, mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, mm -hmm. whenever yeah. we come in your surrounding, mm -hmm. yeah. things happen. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. will change. That's right. That's it. And so That's with it. this lesson, mm -hmm. I hope mm -hmm. our students learn something, how to witness, mm -hmm. a way of yeah. witness. Mm -hmm. First, talk to them, mm -hmm. get their attention, yeah. mm -hmm. find mm -hmm. out their physical mm -hmm. need, and mm -hmm. transition to mm -hmm. their spiritual mm -hmm. need. All right. Amen. That's it. So we just be just like the Samaritan woman. Right. We can be like the Samaritan woman and just go tell your story. Right. We'll be like the Samaritan woman that in terms of let Jesus just change our lives. Amen. So we just thank God for this lesson. Again, it's a simplicity lesson, but the main thing is in terms of, see, some Sometimes Jesus will come to you even when you don't even know he's coming. Right. And Jesus will come even when he are uh, going to push his way, right. you know, through. So we just thank God for this lesson. What a so great lesson. So it is lesson. a great lesson. Thank, so thank you. you so much. So mm. that is our lesson for today. Right. To God be God. Thank you, Amen. Deacon Burns, so much. Thank you. And we'll close out in prayer. Okay. Hallelujah. Oh, dear, kind and gracious Father, Lord, we come right now in the name of Jesus just to say thank you. Father, you're so awesome and wonderful, and we love you. We magnify your holy name. Lord, Father God, we ask you to forgive us for our sins. Anything we said or done was not pleasing to you, Father God. And Lord, we ask you to open up our hearts so we can be able to forgive others. Lord, we thank you for this simple lesson, Father God, about the Samaritan woman, Father God, that she met Jesus at the well. She met Jesus at an unlikely place, hmm. Father God. And Lord, that's why we thank you for letting us meet Jesus at an unlikely place, yes. Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for what you even showed us in this lesson, even with the Samaritan woman, Father God, that Jesus told her all about herself, Father God, and she made a change. And that's what he's doing for us today. He's letting us know that we're sinners, but he'll be able to change our lives. So Lord, we thank you, Father God. We thank you for salvation today, Father God. And 
we ask anyone that's watching this 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 uh this lesson today, Father God, or listening, Father God, that all they got to do is just ex- to accept Jesus as their Savior, and they're saved, and will have eternal life, and will have the living water flowing up inside of them. Lord, we thank you for the Antioch Church. We thank you for our Pastor Reverend Dr. Gerald M. Dew and our First Lady Sister from Marva Dew, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for every member that's watching right now, Father God. We ask you to bless them in a mighty way, Father God. But Lord, we just be able to urge them to go and tell their story, Father God, and Jesus will get the glory. All these blessings we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. We hope you've enjoyed this worship experience and that message, and we want to hear from you. If there's something that impacted you, we would love to hear how this message has impacted your life. And if you've never made the decision to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you to do that right now. You can put something in the chat, you can email us, or you can call us at 773-873-4433. We would love to answer any questions that you might have that you could, that you might make the most important decision anyone one could make. And that's accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Thank you so much for being with us and staying connected. And thank you for giving. Your gifts and contributions enable us to continue to move forward to help Antioch build and continue to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so won't you give today by going to our website, ambcchicago.org, click on the giving tab and you can give there. You can give through Givelify. Download that app from your app store and search for Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. You can give through Zelle by by using the email address AntiochChurchChicago at gmail.com. And you can also mail in your gifts to Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, 611 West 63rd Street, Suite 012, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. Thank you so much for being with us. We can't wait to see you next week. And this Wednesday at 7 p.m., God is doing incredible things. And we're so glad that we're in this together because we are Antioch Strong.